Hello everyone, welcome to the talk show of William Angles in Stratt Street. Today we are going to talk about the reservations. Reserva the reservation is a, one of the key areas in the hotel that works for it, so especially that leads to room revenue of the hotel. Room revenue is the highest revenue of the hotel, which creates a more and more opportunities, also which creates more and more uh, back-end integration. Sajani has a career in hospitality, in uh, room reservations. So, moving to Sajani, we'd like to hear your, your, your own story. Yeah, so actually I have learned uh, in a uh, whole family convent in Nappu. And uh, 2014, I have done my uh, advanced level. And then soon after, I have joined to uh, William Anglis Institute. So, advanced level, what stream you did? Uh, I have done arts, arts so subjects, yes. arts subjects. and then actually I wanted to do a, a job like I wanted to earn ah, to okay. be independent. <laughs> yeah, that was my really uh, intention. Expectation, yes, and then uh, uh, I went to some job uh, fair and then I found this sales team yeah. uh, in there yeah. only. So. So you mean the William Angus? William Angus, of Angles, course. Okay. And then uh, they have introduced uh, about the institute and uh, how it it's uh, working and uh, what are the criteria. So your main intention was to have a job. Yes. But you joined here to study. Actually, it was I went to uh, went with my mom. Yeah. So uh, we were roaming around and looking at all the uh, areas, and then uh, I didn't see the institute uh, profile. Stall. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, my mom uh, told me to come here and check here oh, okay. in the William English Institute store. And then uh, they were introduced about... That was the in 2014. Actually 2014, yeah. yeah. And then um, uh, I was like, uh, I wanted to do a job. But then again, my mom said, you, first you have to learn about something. Uh, and she really likes to... Uh, like me to work Enjoy in the okay. hospitality okay. industry and but the, she didn't mention that she just asked me to learn here and then uh, I joined to William English Institute in 2014 before uh, these results came come ah, out. A levels. A level A results. Okay, okay. And then I have yeah. joined here. Yeah. Uh, That's 2014. 14 only. 14. Yeah. So uh, you were the first batch. Yeah, fifth batch yeah. in uh, William fifth English. Fifth batch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then I have joined William English Institute and I started my uh, studies here with the new people and uh, yeah, that, that was really a uh, good, good uh, vibrate. <laughs> Vibration. So, yeah. uh, see, then going back to school days, I'm taking you to the school days here in the campus itself. So, how did you feel that? What did you get? How was the experience in the campus? The friend? The campus, the of course. Learning uh, atmosphere. Because, uh, yeah, when we are uh, learning in school, it's it's really different from the beginning, from the uh, when I was a kid. From the beginning, we were with some specific friends only. And then uh, when we come here, it's really dif different. Like there were so much of friends I found from here like all Different around the area. country, all the areas. So they came with the different ideas, different uh, attitudes. So it, it was really, first time it was really difficult to face all the all these people. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but then again, there were so many uh, backwards, it's like uh, they were telling something because I was not that much really able to talk, able in, to talk yeah. in English, in English, English. and also I, I could write and mm. read everything but only the talking and then there was some negative uh, situations also but because of the language yes because of the language. language but was it an obstacle to you was it a problem to you uh, at that point? first yes uh. but then again I have I didn't give up you didn't give up. I didn't give up, but uh, then I again, think I learned. also supported you. The institute also of supported course, you. Of course, of yeah. course. Uh, all the lecturers supported us to uh, go forward only, yeah. not going backwards. Yeah. So uh, they really so, helped us. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. So that's very interesting here. Now you say uh, English. You were not very good at English when you start your journey. Yeah. So now you have come up in a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. So. Meaning, 
is this the exposure that happens to you that the exposure yeah. yeah with the hospitality industry where you are working and of things. course yeah. uh, because i have uh, working with all this um, language because uh, i had to give up on singhala mm. you have given <laughs> singhala okay. yeah, yeah and i i work with the english only yeah. and the, all the exams were in english yeah. so it was really difficult in the first moment then then again i have learned somehow yeah. You so tried your. I tried. Best, yeah. I tried. I tried my best. Yeah. So I didn't give up. Yeah. That's the best thing uh, in me. Like that, uh, uh, that attitudes and all. Yeah. I have to make different in uh, inside me. So, so that is very encouraging, Sajani. So now you are uh, you. I know for a fact that when when you were in class, you were very you know you 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 were very studious, but you can't communicate what you want to say. Yeah, but you overcome your situation because uh, because of your courage. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's not only not only the courage, or your support lecturers also supported you yeah. to go forward. To yeah. go forward. Which is which is very 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 important to yeah. know. Okay. Because I was really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then again, the. Uh, but you were never shy, though. No. You were never because shy. Because I was really friendly with yeah. all others. Yeah, all others. So with the lecturers also, yeah. I didn't be quiet yeah, <laughs> all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's how I started. And then again, there were so many things uh, like going on inside the institute, all the presentations and mm. events. Uh, with all of these things, I uh, learned everything. How you to face. You got the foreign lecturers also. Right? Of course, yeah. Deb. And Deb, Deb, Deb. Deb, yeah. Deb, Deb, Deb. <laughs> And uh, of course, Mr. Stephen. Yeah, yeah. uh, so I learned. I really, really learned uh, all this uh, industry about the industry also, and the language, and uh, about the people also. Yeah. <laughs> so course. you learned language, you learned the industry, and you learned people. Yes. All three you learned from this institute. Of course, in the industry. So uh, going back to the school days, talk, uh, talk uh, tell us about your. Um, your social life, the friends, and how did you mingle with friends, and the, the doing assignments, and so on and so forth. Actually, it was really we had really fun here also, uh. like uh, about the um, studies yeah. uh, because there were so many events and all. So there, there were we, so many. Events, yeah, yeah, we worked together. We learned how to work together, uh. work as a team. That's the main thing in the hospitality industry. Also, uh, we have to work. Uh, as a team, the same team. I, I, even if you are going to uh, work in a hotel or a resort, uh, you cannot work as an individual. Yeah. You have to work as a team. So you believe in teamwork? Of course. You learn teamwork in the campus itself? Yes, of okay. course. <laughs> while, while you are talking, I'll serve you a coffee. Yeah. Right. Sugar you. or no sugar? Sugar. Less. <laughs> Less sugar. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then... Um, I was uh, learning here in the William English Institute until 2016, uh -huh. and then uh, in 2017, actually I ha I had faced a lot of problems in my family also because my sister didn't want me to join to hotel industry because why? 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 she why? had a she had a different. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, thank you. Yeah. Different what? Uh, different idea about the industry. She thought I will work as a waitress only. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So she said, I don't want to see you to work in a as a waitress because if we are coming to see you, you are, you will wear that uh, costume and uh -huh. you will be there. Uh -huh. So I was like, I suddenly I gave up on my career life uh, through the hospitality industry, mm. and then again I I really wanted to uh, do a job. Because that was uh, from the beginning, and then I joined to this financial company. Uh, but that's at the initial stages. You, yeah. You mean to say after after your graduation? Before the graduation. Before the graduation. Before okay. the gra we, we had some. Some uh, time. Yeah. Some time after to, completion yes, of your studies here. Yeah. Until the graduation. Yeah. So. So um, it's very interesting. At one point, you you gave up your. I career, gave up hospitality. Uh, yes. Just because people said the hospitality because is not of your that, career. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Then uh, I was like, I was really sad, yeah. and I started to work in a small financial company. And then uh, uh, when I'm working there, I was like, uh, like I can see all other people around me, yeah. and it was really upset me. Uh -huh. Like uh, I have learned 
so much of things in hospitality and then again I so had to... So financial company but yeah, it doesn't... Uh, yeah, it doesn't it's yeah. not related yeah. to this uh, industry. And then um, secretly I was looking for a, a career, career like a in the hospitality. Yeah. So I asked uh, so much of help from others, friends and all. And suddenly I found uh, Golf S Hotel. Okay. So you had a bit of a pause of your career, right? You were in the financial company. Then you joined Golf S Hotel. Golf, Golf S Hotel as what? As uh, actually training, uh -huh. training, reservations training. Reservations training? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I didn't have any idea about the reservations. I had the idea about the sales and marketing uh, uh. because of the institute. Uh, but I didn't have that much of idea about the reservations department. Uh, then again, uh, I found this uh, director in sales. Uh -huh. He was really, really a good man. Mubarak. He's Mr. Mubarak, of course. Mr. Mubarak. He was like, uh, yeah, I can understand you because I was telling my story to yeah. him. Okay. And he was like, uh, yes, you have to start uh, from somewhere. Mm. We have to give the opportunity you guys to grow up. Mm. And when I say, uh, when I tell about the uh, William English Institute also, he had a positive Vibe. Uh, vibe, vibe, <laughs> of yeah. course. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, uh, I will give the opportunity, I will call you. Yeah. Uh, you will get the job, of course, yeah. because I was a fresh yeah. person to the industry. And uh, I started like that only. So it's very interesting here. So people give up the career of hospitality just because of this cultural and the social taboo. But people like being a girl. Uh, Sijani is trying to say a story to us. Right? Yeah. That's what you're trying to say. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then again, um, I uh, I went to the interview also and then they uh, hired me and uh, they asked me to come on the day that we are graduating. Okay. On the day of the graduation. <laughs> the same okay. day. Then okay. I said I cannot come. Yeah. So I will come next day. Yeah. So I graduated in that day. Next day I went to uh, Golf S Hotel uh, as a reservations uh, trainee. Uh -huh. Then, reservations training, where did you end up? Actually, uh, within six months, they uh, removed training part. Mm. Then I was a reservation agent. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, within one year, I became a junior reservations executive. How long uh, did you work for? Uh, one and a half year, one and a half year. in Golf S Hotel. So, thereafter, you start your new venture in Maldives. Right. Yes. In Maldives, you start your uh, career as a reservations executive. Yes. So talk how talk about your Maldives experience there. Yeah. Then uh, I found this offer in uh, Maldives. Yeah. Um, then I uh, asked my mom and all. Then I took the opportunity and I went to Maldives. Right. So in Maldives, you were paid in dollars. Of course. <laughs> you were paid in dollars. Yeah. So that's a secret. So now you still your sister was. Uh, no, she she was okay she was then okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because I was working in sales and marketing. No one can see me. Yeah. Okay. So. But I was working really hard yeah. because that's the um, like uh, if if the hotel is the cake, yeah. the icing part is the reservation. Reservation. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I know. So if yeah. the reservation is not there, yeah. it's done. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, I went to Maldives yeah. as a reservation executive and then I started my work there. Uh -huh. uh, of course, I did opera and I had the all the... Uh, now, uh, the listener, listeners or the viewers, they would like to hear these reservations because that's a new concept to everyone. Uh, yeah. I mean, most of them. I know for a fact that what reservation is all about yes. because being a reservation manager at some point, I have handled things. But most of them do not know about the reservation. You yes. were not... Uh, aware no, of no. it at the initial stages. So, yes. talk about what the reservation department is all about and how does this uh, department work? Yes, some uh, hotels is having needs under the front office, uh -huh. but uh, most of them having under the sales and marketing because uh, sales and marketing is giving us the uh, giving hotel the opportunities like the um, people reservations, of course and all the events hmm. and uh, we are the one who are making that into a uh, system in that hotel yeah. we Rather are funnel. putting yes yeah. like uh, that really helps uh, other departments to uh, uh, welcome the guests and do all other things hmm. so all you, you you basically collect all information of the customers of course 
we have uh, so much uh, kind of uh, guest to the uh, to a hotel like in local also, and sorry i'm sorry yeah. in Maldives also it's a uh, it's part of uh, front office or sales sales it's under sales, it's under sales. yeah okay. uh, in Maldives i was working uh, in a, a group chain hotel group chain hotel yeah, atmosphere hotels and resorts, and uh, I was working in uh, one resort, Oblu, uh -huh. uh, as a reservations executive, as I said. And um, uh, their sales department is in the main, uh, like, uh, Malay, Malay office, office, Malay office, main office. And uh, there were so many reservations team each and every uh, resort. Resorts. Yeah. So the latest trend is you work with reservations and revenue department. Revenue is un, uh, reservation is under revenue. So how, uh, how does this work? Have you worked with bar rates, best available rates? Of course. And, uh, so uh, best available rate is the uh, main rate we have. We are having uh, like uh, we are. That's what we are giving to the guests yeah. directly. Level but one to five. Yeah, level. they didn't have levels, yeah, but okay. uh, they have only direct rates, yeah. and then uh, for uh, locals, uh, it's separate rate, yeah. special rates special. for locals, and uh, for foreigners, uh, there are uh, travel agencies also, right? right? So they are giving contracts. We are the one who is uh, handling those contracts each and every res resort. So our mind is like a computer. Mm. Sometimes we have to. Okay, if someone gives you an opportunity to work in operations department rather than oper reservations, will you, will, you, will you take it? Of course, reservations for me. For your reservations? Yes, yeah. ah, okay. <laughs> because I had experience in reservations. Of course, operation is really, no, really... Let's say somebody in, in, invites you to work in food office or food and beverage or that depart those departments, would you take it or would you stay back in the reservations department? I prefer reservations yeah. yeah. because uh, that's really interesting. Like we can handle all of the departments also. Yeah. But reservation is not easy. It's, it's tough. not easy. It's not it's easy. Tough. It's really hard. Because you have 1500 emails to respond. Then yeah. you have numerous telephone calls to respond, WhatsApp yeah. messages, so many things. Yeah, everything we had, it's like we are looking at there, here, and yeah. there. And you are <laughs> working with really unseen customers. Unseen customs. Unseen customs, so that you don't see the guests face to face. You don't know no. their reactions and things like that. No, so sometimes they are shouting it. at us yeah. also. Yeah. Before they come, they don't have any idea about the resort. So they are shouting at us, but we have to take everything and we have to be calm down always. Yeah. Like we cannot shout. We can shout behind them, yeah. but we cannot shout at, 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 the, at that point. At that point. So that it's was basically. Really um, for you, it's a new adventure. You are trying to say so. There, uh, the car, the your guests are they are, they are unseen customers. Is it easy to handle unseen customers or difficult to handle unseen customers? It's difficult to handle because uh, they ca they don't know what's going on in the resort, right? Okay. So they they don't have any idea about the resort. Of course, if it's a repeater guest, yeah. they will have an idea. They will really really fl yeah. fr friendly. Yeah. And I also had friend yeah. in England. Yeah. They are still like they are like family yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> that means that until they come to the resort, they don't know what's going on. You are the first talking point, of course, to the hotel. To the hotel. Yeah. So how do you create that impression over a phone or maybe an email and things like that? Yeah, through the email. There, there are some yeah. steps we yeah. should have to put, yeah. like uh, greetings and uh, greetings from. Whatever yeah, the hotel, whatever yeah, the hotel, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the, oh. it should be in a proper way. Pro, uh. And if the, most of guests are sending long emails when I'm working in uh, resort, yeah, well, it's not like in golf is. Yeah. Golf is also having troubles, but uh, it's like it's coming through the sales all uh -huh. the time. Uh -huh. So uh, we really had a lot of emails in golf is yeah. because there are so many uh, short term guests, short term stays. Hmm. But uh, in Maldives, they are uh, mostly they are having the long stay guests. Long stay, yes. long stay, okay. and uh, honeymoon, mm -hmm. and they want to have all these uh, things uh, in the resort 
in, in the Maldives because as you know Maldives is a really really beautiful country it's a lovely country yeah <laughs> and always you can see a uh, beautiful ocean yeah. and uh, fishes so before before we come to Maldives experience i have some 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 of your uh, school social events see i can see you here now yeah. try and find where you are try and find in this picture where you are this is one of the one of our aurudu photographs yeah i also cannot remember <laughs> i can find you yeah yeah right yeah i was really thin yeah not much of a difference now and the one of your study visits to hilton Studies. colombo i think they are also you are here yeah here right so go back to maldives yeah. go back to maldives from malaya port to the resort tell uh, tell us about the story yeah i went there alone okay. i didn't know anyone that was your first uh, flight first, experience yes okay. and uh, out of the country okay <laughs> so first my mom was like can you stay alone <laughs> okay but then again i took the opportunity because i want to fly yeah. somewhere and yeah. take the experience it's really really good experience in to work in outside yeah. the country so i went there i didn't know anything yeah. <laughs> when i get down there was this guy yeah. uh, he at malaya port malaya port yeah. and he took me to an uh, office and then they did some documents right malaya port to the office it's another journey another journey was it through sea or through through sea through sea yeah <laughs> Through yeah. the, there's there's this ferry. Yeah. It's going to uh, going from airport to Malay city. Uh, Malay city. Yeah, yeah, it was really ten different. Rupiah, ten rupiah. Ten rupiah. Ten rupiah. Ten rupiah. Ten rupiah. <laughs> the yeah. currency is rupiah. Yeah. So, but people are like us all. Yeah. Like us. Uh, like the us, yeah. uh, color, skin yeah, yeah. color, also like us. Yeah, These Maldivians. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it was like really busy uh, airport. Yeah. It's a really busy because it's not that much big mm. like in Sri Lanka. it's a small uh, airport yeah. and uh, it's like uh, when you are going to colombo yeah. port For, it's like it's that, like that. <laughs> so now the airport to malay city that's again a, uh, another journey by a ferry okay so now you go down to malay city yeah. Yeah. then and then they took this documents yeah. this uh, got my sign and i had to done my um, uh, check my blood and all ah, okay. the, for the, the medical, medical test. test and then uh, I went again to airport. Yeah. From airport only, they are taking us to the resort. Yeah. So from the airport to the resort, what was the transportation mode? Was it the sea plane or, or speed no. boat? No. Oh no, it's only fifty minutes away from ah, the uh, sea. Uh, North City. North Malaya or South Malaya? It's North Malaya. North Malaya. North Malaya. So I went by uh, speed boat. Yeah. It was really fast. <laughs> Practically, I lived in Maldives for three years. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially no not mad at all yeah so uh, so so then again, i went there it was really new but i went at night yeah. so i didn't you know didn't what's know what going on yeah. and i didn't know there are some guests also was also in, in, in the, the inside the boat yeah. and they were shouting yeah. i was really interesting yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was oh my god where am i going i can say it yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. i was in middle of this yeah. and then i went there the first time experience of deep sea on a boat oh my god yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> i was really yeah. i'm really scared of sea yeah. but i went yeah. somehow okay. <laughs> then first time i didn't have sea sick but yeah. sometimes Later when on. the sea is really rough yeah. i w- i got sea sick cause yeah. and then i went there they welcome me to the resort and they join me they introduce me the um, to other departments yeah. and took me to every, each and every department and there were so many sri lankans yeah. uh, first they had uh, i think 60% of maldivians, maldivians working yeah. in the resort and then the mostly sri lankans sri and then indians yeah. uh, so that's how i started there and then uh, they inform me the steps because it's really different from sri lanka the way they are working Yeah. and the the way they are replying to the guests yeah. and they also have this lqa uh, yeah. that's lqa that yeah. means uh, what do you call this guest is coming without the informing ah, ah, mr okay. guest uh, mr guest so they are coming and checking all the it's like audit yeah. auditing for the operations so uh, so jenny now in maldives uh, again it's a lovely country it's a fascinating country so what did you do in maldives other than working 
other than working actually i had only one one day off yeah per one week, day off yeah maybe on sunday no uh, no it it doesn't matter doesn't they are they are giving that day yeah, we have whatever, to take yeah. mostly they are giving on uh, friday, friday because it's a muslim, muslim country, country yeah. so uh, for the the work day first thing i'm sleepy you are sleepy yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because it's really hard yeah. to work until yeah. night yeah. sometimes we have to work whole day yeah. like 18 hours yeah. <laughs> like that uh so first thing that's yeah. what i'm doing yeah. and then i'm walking around the resort yeah. we have separate uh, area, area for the staff so i can work walk around and uh, sitting in front of the beach yeah. and looking at the beach oh, it's what, really what different what excursions did you do in maldives i have done uh, i think two times or three times i have done uh, sunset fishing cruise. yeah fishing, fishing. It, and do you have your camera a camera to take photographs of Maldives Yeah I took my uh, your phone, phone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also caught fish okay, so okay. it's really it's really fun it's really fun, fun. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> when you get a fish you you feel yeah, that you I get cannot, it. Yeah. Because they they are helping yeah. us <laughs> they uh, they believe that when you get a fish you are so lucky to have yeah, fish Yeah lucky <laughs> to have yeah. and uh, it's it's really really different and uh, that uh, the resort i was staying hmm. it's a really small uh, one a small resort yeah. it's only 800 meters along uh-huh. how many rooms you had for me uh, it's only 118 180 any water bang uh no half water half water yes half water Uh, like uh, it's not uh, really in the water really in the water because it's a really small uh, resort. resort the island is really small and they are having these corals and all no. so they are really thinking about them uh, they don't want to break those environmental protection yeah, yeah okay protection. and then uh, that's how i was working until now <laughs> okay so uh, what are your hobbies basically so other than sleeping and fishing what are your hobbies <laughs> <laughs> Actually we cannot go out only yeah. uh, no i mean in the, your personal life what are your hobbies you to travel or what uh travel like as i said i, I we cannot all the time we cannot go outside yeah. the island so if we have opportunity to go out we are going to male and we, we can walk around yeah, you can do better some shopping some in male shopping it's all ex- food, the food yeah. it's really expensive it's really expensive all good, <laughs> good stuff you can get it Yes, uh, the branded stuff, the branded stuff. Branded yeah. stuff. And uh, other than that, you can stay inside the island, and yeah. you can uh, read a book yeah. in front of the beach, and you can uh, listen to music. That's how it's really. Did you call the uh, your uh, exposure there as paid holiday? Was it? Do you paid holiday? So while working, you're on a holiday kind of, no? yeah but uh, it's not all the time it's like all the time, yeah. when we are going mad yeah. Or yeah, 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 yeah. it's not uh, to be refresh yeah. uh, we can go outside and yeah, because watch. you see the same old people and yeah you... it's really really different cousin because uh, when we are staying in sri lanka we can go out we can see our friends yeah. it's different right yeah. when you are working inside the hotel it's with uh, some bunch of people yeah. and when you are going out you have friends and we are going home you have your family yeah. but there we don't have anything we only yeah. have the, the colleagues who are working with us yeah. and guests yeah so uh, the expo exposure or rather the experience with mall deviants uh, okay. how do you feel it um they are not that much uh, rough or rude people yeah, yeah. they are really uh, friendly yeah. with us so it was not, not that much not hard that to work with them no so being a girl so you managed everything didn't you have this homesick and all uh, i had first time i had yeah. i was re- crying there yeah, yeah. i said my my i would come back yeah, yeah. and all because uh, we have we have to face for all these um, problems when we are working there because they have senior people mm. sometimes they are showing us the attitude i i'm i'm not like that yeah, kind of yeah, person yeah. i'm really getting scared sometimes <laughs> it's like that i'm innocent person <laughs> <laughs> so uh good <laughs> yeah you are an innocent person so you find it diff- yeah so now uh I'm, again i i want this uh, so you like reading you like sleeping now you like uh, fishing 
anything else that you like even in sri lanka to eating or food eating of course in sri lanka yeah we are hanging out with yeah. friends yeah. and we are having some yeah. drinks and food yeah. uh we can go out have uh, watch films everything right but ah, in movies there, also part movies. of yeah. but uh, and there you can do not much. really, yeah, not really. Yes. how many times have you been to mali city as uncountable uncountable uncountable, uncountable. <laughs> because one and a half years as of now yeah. i i was working there yeah. so ajani now you have a qualification from william english institute at slate right that yes. it's william english institute uh, from australia so advanced diploma of hospitality management how does this impact your career it's actually uh, because i was really nervous from the beginning mm-hmm. when i'm joining to uh, william english institute and then uh, because of all the uh, exams and presentations we got from the institute uh, we learned everything how to face uh, to the guest and also uh, when uh, when we are uh, working also uh, how to uh, do the things properly and also um, how to be take strength to uh, go through all the difficult times and uh, all the qualifications of course the, the, the time qualification and all. to your cv how do yeah. you see it is it important to you it is, is it? important because uh, they know when when you are uh, when you see on the cv you have worked, uh, you have learned in william english institute of course they know we have done a good job there and when they are uh, because we are showing our uh, result sheet right yeah. in the uh, when i have a interview yeah. so they can see on the on that we have learned everything and the way we are talking with them and uh, when we are smiling especially uh, they know uh, we can uh, we have we have done this uh, job so properly. basically you are trying to say your qualification what you have it on your cv a qualification huh? or course. not the exposure the qualification on your cv you are trying to say it's an it's an expensive gift to you yes it is yeah it is and uh, whatever i have uh, spent for uh, for my uh, studies i have already earned yeah. so that's the <laughs> okay. best part yeah, yeah. that's the best part <laughs> that's the best part because uh, i didn't give up on anything yeah. that's how i i i came until now yeah so now that's again uh, now you at the initial stages you said you had a kind of uh, blocks of coming to industry and things like that but what made you to come to industry why did you like hospitality or why did you like this uh, whole arena yeah because uh, my actually my brother is uh, working in italy yeah. in a restaurant as a chef uh-huh. so um, actually as i told in uh, from the beginning uh, my mom is the one who forced me to go to, go to study in here and uh, then, meaning hospitality in hospitality ah, so also. your mother wanted you to join hospitality join hospitality ah. because uh, she knew the way i'm uh, uh, my attitudes ah. and the way i'm uh, handling the people she thought i can work with people because this industry is specially focusing to for the guests yeah. on the hospitality and we we have to assist the guests all the time we have to connect with them and uh, actually i have uh, grown i have grown up because of so this far, industry yeah because of the industry if yes. you given a chance of hospitality in other industry at that point do you perceive for hospitality or you see any other industry also uh so far no, no. because uh, kasan i don't know i really like this industry because uh, this is from one side this is really fun to work yeah, in it's really fun to work yes hospitality hospitality means we have to give our every uh, help uh, we have to assist the guest all the time and we have to give whatever we ha- we can in and we have to do it from our bottom of part, our heart only so not like other uh okay. industries like you are sitting in front of me and i'm giving 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 yeah. all the information it's not like that okay so do you consider hospitality as a job or a passion 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 of course yeah. because i from here also uh, all our lecturers was saying don't think about money when you are starting your career life uh-huh. you have to start from 
all the qualifications you have, all the skills, you have to show that first. And you have to take that experience from that hotel or from that resort, wherever you are yeah, working. Yeah. And then you have to go through that target. Always you have to make your own goal, right? So you can go to that goal if you are learning by yourself okay. with the experience. And uh, it's really passion for me. I didn't think about money all the time, okay. but it, it I was earning, but yeah. I didn't expect every every yeah, single yeah, thing. thing. No. So now, uh, now Sajani, now you have to tell us about this uh, COVID pandemic situation. So you are one of the victims of it. You know, the entire world is facing for the the so much of crises of this uh, uh, pandemic situation. So mm. tell us about your your own experience, right? Yeah. Uh, because you are now in Colombo <laughs> and uh, you you have to work in Maldives. Yes. How did that happen to come and all 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 these things you can talk about it. Yeah, we were working in the Maldives. It was uh, this period is for Chinese season. Uh -huh. Chinese uh, season for Maldives. Yeah, uh, but suddenly we got this uh, COVID nineteen virus situation in China. We didn't expect it will uh, spread to spread to other countries, especially Germany. Yeah. And Italy, of course, because these are these are the main countries we are focusing when we are working in Maldives, because our first uh, guests are coming from German, and then uh, Russia, uh, Italy, uh, and then uh, Korea, China. This Chinese season, of course, we are mainly Maybe. targeting uh, guests from China, and then it it like without we think it spread it to everywhere yeah. and then it was really sudden we didn't expect and it was shocking us yeah, so in in maldives uh, you, you how did you face it in maldives how did they handle that in, in maldives actually we didn't expect they will it will spread to maldives but uh, for the moment it's more than 200 2500 i think so, uh, yeah. Thousand, yeah yeah and 250000 uh, people no? yes and uh, when we are coming to Sri Lanka this time, I came before the lockdown, uh, Sri Lanka. Um, at that time, there were only 18 people mm. uh, positive with, with the virus. In, in, in the country? In the country, Maldives. Um, so now it's, you said uh, 2,500. I think it's... Yeah. it's there are two, two, 250,000 people trying to come to Sri Lanka also, no? Yeah, because they are... Yeah. Because when you are working, it's a... It's a uh, we cannot say it's a negative uh, point, but also it's really sad to say yeah. because it's a, there are so many, so many islands in the Maldives. It's not a big country, country. one country. It's not a one country. So uh, all the uh, goods and the, uh, everything, food and all, it's coming from the other countries. So it's uh, this because of this situation, th this is really breaking up. Like they cannot take food, for, they cannot, uh, ferries are not working and uh, they will not get food all the time now. It's really hard now, they are only eating rice and yeah, dal, dal yeah. and it's really hard to, hard to live there now. So, uh, you are lucky enough to come here Yeah. before the lockdown. Before yeah. the lockdown. Yeah. Because I didn't expect, I was like, uh, I can... You came in or just... No, it, I had I had my holiday in June. I yeah. supposed to come, but uh, suddenly they asked me to uh, go because only one person is uh, working there working right now, yeah. and she has to she and yeah. she's also from uh, our country, okay. yeah, Sri Lanka, and uh, she has to work alone. Uh -huh. It's it's not that much easy yeah. to work alone all the time. Like all seven days, you have to work without any break. It's really hard to work there. So, uh, finally, Sajali, uh, what message do you want to give to the public and to your industry and to your friends? Yeah, uh, like for Sri Lanka now, this is second time, last time, this bomb blasting okay. and this uh, 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 coronavirus situation. So, uh, but still this industry is not, never giving up. This industry is always growing up. So. I'm saying don't ever give up on the on your career life. If you are working in the industry, 
in hospitality uh, hotel yeah don't ever give up yeah. on the on your career you have to uh, focus on your goal if you are if you are having a goal you have to always focus on your goal and uh, all day you have to l- learn uh, from wherever you are working you just learn first and then you can earn yeah. first you have to learn then, then you, you have to take all the experience and uh, from your seniors especially and uh, of course from the lecturers in the William English Institute you can take all the their experience also and you have to always listen to them yeah. first listen and learn and then you can earn the money and this is not always uh, will be there this virus of course it's not it, it will go it will down go. <laughs> and then you can uh, go to your target i'm saying just to make your own target and be your own leader and then you can be success someday okay. <laughs> so uh, now sir from 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 this discussion point what we have to say being a girl or uh, being a woman so what she say what she is trying to say is don't give up on opportunities always go for it go for it go for it and as we discuss during the discussion the res- room revenue or the room reservations are part and parcel of the hotel industry those are important departments which is which is not been visible but those are uh, those areas also available thank you for joining with us for this talk show